Hi again, everybody. I'm Chief Meteorologist Jay Bursch back at the Imagination Station along with Carl Nelson. We're just having a little campfire tonight here, roasting some marshmallows. And we're going to be dealing with the dehydration of sugar today. Carl, exactly. I know you're doing a great job there, perfect toast, but, but what are we doing today? Yeah, this is one of the things that everybody learns how to do as a kid, right? You caramelize marshmallows. You get them in that nice brown color. And what's happening is the heat is actually breaking down the sugar molecule into untold number of different compounds. I can't even describe what all is happening there because all the variables, the, the heat, the amount of sugar, the amount of moisture, um, and you get that nice caramelized, smell that? Mm, yes, that's, that's, that's nice. perfect. Now, the thing you don't want to do is get it <laughs> so far in there that instead of caramelizing, we actually carbonize it. <laughs> right. Gotcha. If you get it too hot, you're just going to completely break down all the carbon in the sugar, and it's going to turn into carbon, and it definitely has a different sort of smell. Yeah, no, thank you. Now, that's kind of a little bit of an uncontrolled way of doing this. I thought we might try it a little bit differently. Got a container of sugar here. Okay. We're going to add some concentrated sulfuric acid. Nasty stuff. Nasty stuff. So we've got the gloves on and glasses. I'm just going okay. to go ahead and pour this in. We're going to see if we can mix up the acid with the sugar. And I want you to look closely at the color of the sugar. It started out as pure white. It looks a lot like when you were roasting the marshmallow. Exactly. We were kind of caramelizing the sugar right now. Okay. The sulfuric acid is breaking down the sucrose in there and releasing water. Now the water, when it reacts with the acid, is going to generate heat. And, and it's getting really dark. It's getting really dark. Yeah. And if you feel the side of the container, it's starting to get warm. We're not quite there yet. But yeah. in a few seconds, you're going to see some bubbling action happening on the top. If you look closely, you can see it's kind of bubbling. And again, that sulfuric acid reacting with the water and the sugar. Once that acid gets hot enough, it's going to start generating water vapor. Okay, you can see it actually expanding. It is. Here it's it comes. Expanding. There goes the, the some steam. steam coming out. And now that vapor coming out could have a little bit of sulfuric acid in it. So we're going to try to stay away okay. from that. Okay. But what's happening is we're turning the sugar into carbon. We got some water vapor in there that's generating little pockets. We're actually making a foam of carbon coming out here. From the sugar. From the sugar, Amazing. yeah. We're completely breaking it down into carbon, water, and some of the sulfuric acid is still in there as well. But it's just so nice how it burns off like that and it's still growing. If I see if I can wiggle in here and pull that guy out. Maybe I'll use the tongs just to be <laughs> safe. Now one of the problems here is after doing this demonstration, this stuff's got sulfuric acid in it. We need to neutralize it. Okay. So we're gonna do that right now by just putting it in a big beaker and Jay, if you could sprinkle some Baking soda, baking soda okay. sodium bicarbonate, on top of that, just coat the whole thing. Okay. Perfect. Hey. And now we're just hey, going to add a little bit of water to that. And if you've ever seen the reaction between vinegar and baking soda, similar thing is happening here. The alkali in the baking soda is going to neutralize uh, the acid. You get some vapors coming off of carbon dioxide gas, lots of bubbling action happening in here, and then we can dispose of this without having excess acid. You want to be responsible with how you dispose of it as well. It's very cool stuff. All right, Carl, cool. thank you so much. For Carl Nelson, I'm Chief Meteorologist Jay Bershback. That was Imagine.